Just trust God to follow me. It's important what I'm telling you. Hmm? Let me use a little example to help you to understand. When I was younger, I was, I know you might not believe it, but okay, let me start this way. My father was, my biological father can play football. In fact, he played so well that it was when he broke his leg that he stopped. Yes, he can play. In fact, till he got to his 50s, he's, he likes watching football, especially Nigerian, Nigerian national team. When he got older to his 50s, especially mid-50s, he stopped because he liked the Nigerian team so much that when Okocha doesn't score, he say, wow, on the table. I say, why didn't they? After he did it two times, he said, no, I'm not watching again. This thing is disturbing my heart. He now left it for us. But when they score, Nigeria score one or two goals, I'll tell him, Daddy, they have scored. He said, who scored? He will come back in because the thing is inside. So, I also grew up finding out that I can play football and my younger brother can play too. In fact, those days when we are small, we can start. I don't know by what means children do that. I can't try it now. And I'm still young. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Those days, I can start by 8 a.m. We can start by 8 a.m. Start playing football till 7 in the night. The only thing that stopped us was darkness. The only thing that stopped us was darkness. I played and played and played till I even did, I trained with the University of Nigeria football team. Now I'm trying to give you context now to know that at least I can touch small. I'm talking to youth. Am I not talking to youth? Uh, there are other people with us, but they are joining us. In this, in this context, they are joining us. Maybe by next Sunday, we will join them. Amen? Amen? So, follow me now. So, I played the football. Played the football. Uh, I might have ended up being the next Taribo West. Hmm? Don't come and say, I will not succeed. That is not so true. If you are a determined human being and you know one or two principles of, of life, you can actually succeed. You can succeed without God being in the team because you have not stumbled upon a revelation of the mystery of the will of God for your life. You see, I keep saying it what you are able or willing to do how far you are willing to go the way you are willing to keep yourself let's assume it's impurity and holiness is dependent on what god has revealed to you let's assume god revealed to you and you did another thing it means it means you wasted the revelation of god when i was in campus those days um some sisters gathered i didn't say unbelievers sisters they gathered and said that the way I'm behaving, they said I'm a homosexual. Why is it that you don't touch women? You don't do anything. You don't, can't even come to our, you, you don't hug. You don't, just, they told me to loosen up, to, to loosen up myself that I'm too tight. <laughs> they said I'm too tight. Too tight, too tight. But by then, God has started showing me excerpts several things were happening just increase a little because i don't have time i will, will strike in the next 10 minutes i not could not allow me to do some things and compelled me to do some things you can't know such things and just be casual you can't know such things and not be willing to pay certain kind of price There are things you will see. You will tell God, I will reduce my sleep in the night. My sleep has little to offer to me in this context. And I'm your fellow young man. I'm not telling you of what I've not done. There are things you will see. You will declare 100 days 6 to 6. Not for God to give you encounter, take you to heaven. But for God to just take you serious. Lord, why don't you take me serious? I see people you have taken serious in this life. 
but i notice that my life is going anyway if i take decision you don't even stop me anything i wake up to take thing to do i will just do it god is not stopping he can't tell you anything you are you are on a highway a highway that heaven is not aware of there is a revelation you need it is a prerequisite for we to ascend the highs that is like what you will hold it's like what we carry you it's like somebody that is attempting to fly and he's inside an aircraft when i flew one time i found out i used to think before that pilots that when they want to fly that time they are moving like this that they are driving it like a car until somebody told me that there is something called autopilot that sometimes what they do is to set the radar the coordinates and some of them sleep like yes like sleep off especially if they are going far and the journey is up to four hours five hours but you still got to your destination why there is something carrying you it is a revelation of the mystery of the will of god concerning your life there are several times even satan will come and desire to swallow you i mean swallow you swallow you i don't know where you came from and the foundation surrounding you some of us sat and swore and say who even gave me the mind to think of some things talk more of trying it what i did is to go to god and say you are the one that called me i didn't call myself you have to support me from heaven I was little i was young i know you might think i'm small now i used to be almost <laughs> i used to be way smaller but the god in me was very very strong just imagine if i kept playing football and succeeded just imagine if i'm the managing director of beloxy biscuits today with a car there is even if i come to this congregation even if i come to this meeting like this and then they are praying praying all the biggest men of god gather together and lay hands on you and give you an impartation you are not going anywhere you are not <laughs> what you need is a revelation a revelation of the mystery of the will of god it is daring that you can prosper according to god's purposes are you following me now it is there that god owes you the duty to help you to graduate into deeper knowledge of him what i'm saying is that the environment are you getting it now the environment of the revelation of the will of god the mystery of the will of god has everything including the circumstance of life including issues god set it up in such a way that those things have the ability to both train you give you what you need bring you into places that you never even expected all of them are geared towards bringing you to the fulfillment of the purpose of god so when you are outside of it there are several people you can meet there are several places you can find yourself and these things are god ordained places situations seasons of your life that is meant for your training encouragement that are meant for your impartations that are meant to bring resources in your life that can bring you to where god has ordained for you if you heard me so far, say amen.